So I'm Amy Goodenough and I'm 20 years old. For the most part, I'm a writer. That's who I am. Um, I believe in words more than I believe in anything else. I'm also a learner. Um, all I believe in is learning as much as you can from the world. I think that's all we can do. I grew up in the Natal Midlands in this little town called Howick and we used to live in this beautiful suburban house full of trees and I used to spend my whole time in this one tree in the backyard. Pretty much why I'm here. My favorite thing is to watch people going by, see who looks up, who notices what's around them. It's really interesting how few people will notice you if you're in a tree. And you create stories and you just think about life. It's just a way to escape from your surroundings. For me, trees have always had a personality. It's like trees are more individuals than other plants seem to be. Like there's a tree on campus that lowers its branch down and it's like it's trying to give you a high five. There's another tree that curves its limbs around like it wants to hug you. There's something, it's very easy to put a personality in trees and they've always been something of a sanctuary for me. Telling my mum that I was gay was really terrifying. Um, I didn't mean to tell her over the phone, but I ended up doing that. And I've never ever seen my mum cry, but I'm pretty sure she was crying in that phone call, which was one of the hardest things I've ever had to do. Um, it really upset her and to this day she doesn't believe it's true. Um, which is kind of hard to deal with, you know. I, I want my parents to know who I am and believe me when I say what I am. And, you know, since then it's sort of become easier, but it's something that we don't talk about. With my dad, it was a little easier. It was a conversation that lasted sort of five minutes and it was like, you know, don't decide who you are now, but it's okay if you are. But with my dad, we don't really talk about anything at all. So it's kind of a, a thing we don't talk about at home. There's so much silence and kind of this awkward taboo around so many things that we can't talk about at home. And I think that's why it's so freeing to come here where I can say absolutely anything and people just sort of take it for what it is. I've heard so many of my friends saying that you know, they want people to celebrate their lives at their funeral. I want people to be crying hysterically that I'm gone. Um, but I would like to be remembered as a writer, as someone who created beautiful things. That's how I'd like to be remembered.